This video explains how to store multiple matrices in a list object using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the two example matrices that we can create with lines two to six of the code. So in line two of the code, I'm creating our first matrix object. So after running this line of code, you can see that a new matrix object is appearing at the top right, which is called mat1. And if we print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code, you can see that our first matrix contains five rows and three columns. In line five of the code, I'm creating a second example matrix. So after running this line of code, another matrix called mat2 is appearing. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console as well by running line six of the code. And then you can see that our second matrix contains four rows and four columns. And this matrix contains letters instead of numbers. Now let's assume that we want to store both of these matrices in a single list object. Then we can apply the list function as you can see in line eight of the code. And within the list function, we simply need to specify the names of our two matrix objects. So in this case, our two matrices that we want to store in the list are called mat1 and mat2. And then we need to store the output of the list function in a new data object that I'm calling my list. So if you run line eight of the code, you can see at the top right that a new list object is appearing, which is called my list. And we can print this list to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new list object, which contains two list elements. And the first list element contains our first example matrix. And the second list element contains our second example matrix. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.